What's up, YouTube? All right, so we're back with another review. And this time, I think you guys are gonna like this one because it's on the Andis Fade Masters. Yes, the Andis Fade Masters. Now, these are a big talked about set of clippers. First of all, they're very heavy, so just know that. But they're heavy duty clippers. So they're really meant for taking off a lot of hair quicker, easier, and uh, uh, just for the thicker bulk and all that stuff. It's, it's This is meant to really just take care of all that stuff. So the best reason that I can find as to why they call them fade masters is because it actually helps you master the fade a little more because of these notches. You see these little notches? They help you go from click to click to click to click basically and these kind of help you to go from notch to notch as uh, as you go as a barber so you just gonna go and you gonna bring it up and um, these actually need to be a little bit looser these are a little too tight but it's supposed to be a little bit looser so that way it just kind of clicks to each one and um, so the thing about these is is I think they're great for beginners because it helps you get a little more detailed to the notches until you get a little more comfortable with doing fades. That way you can really just adjust it how you want. This one gives you little detailed notches to be able to really kind of uh, pay more attention to uh, uh, how much you're cutting through each layer. Um, and um, definitely, I would advise that you get one. It costs about 80 bucks, 90 bucks. It costs about 90 bucks to buy one. You can get them at a Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, they, they can run a little hot if you use them for a while, and they're all metal, pretty much. So, like, if it gets hot, you're going to feel it. You know what I'm saying? You can get, like, they have, like, kind of, like, covers and socks for these. Uh, gloves would help, too, and stuff. But... Um, other than that, you know, like you gotta, you can't, you can't run these hot. You just can't run these hot. And if they run hot, so make sure you spray the body too with your cool care. When you're spraying your cool care, make sure you spray the body too. You know what I'm saying? And, um, be careful because it gets a really close cut. And I think it sometimes almost gets too close a to cut. Like when you put it to its closest and you're cutting, sometimes it I feel like it pulls the skin, like it gets in that skin and it kind of picks at the skin a little bit. I feel like it gets a little too deep. So be careful with that. Um, other than that, I would actually recommend, especially for beginners, to get a Fade Masters. Because like I said, it kind of helps you with the details and the notches. It's heavy duty, it knocks out, it knocks out the hair, it doesn't really choke up and stop up too much and pull hair like that. And um, when you buy the box, it comes with the blade oil and a blade guard. And I always talk about how important it is to wear your blade guards because the moment you drop this bad boy and you're not even using it and you chip it, it's the worst ever. So it's 10 inches. It's 10 inches long, kind of a long clipper. Well, not too long though, it's kind of average. And it weighs 1.32 pounds. And that's what it says, but I mean, like it's it's got some it's got some weight to it. I'll tell you that right now. Um, it's 120 volts. It's like I said, it's a heavy duty clipper, so it's meant to just really knock some stuff out the way. And uh, like I said, it's great for beginners. It does the notches here. Costs about 90 bucks. You can get it at Sally's Beauty Supply. You can order it on Amazon, whatever. I don't personally use. Fade Masters. I only use wall magic clips and my retro T cuts cordless, and that's all I use. But when I first began, these were some of my first clippers, and it helped me a lot. So I recommend if you're a beginner, definitely get one of your Fade Masters. Order a Fade Masters, work with it, learn how to fade with it. You'll get better, I promise. Remember to use the corners. Always work the corners with your blades. And um, my, like I said, my tutorials will be coming soon. So 
Just stay tuned, stay subscribed, turn them notifications on, hit that little bell symbol. Make sure y'all punch these likes, man. I ain't been getting enough likes from y'all, man. If y'all can show me some love, put some likes on here. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, you know you can you can hit it down below. And uh, I'll start sending links for this, for stuff like this. But uh, for now, like I said, I'll just t I can tell you where to find it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, review on Fate Masters. If you're a beginner, definitely get some of these. If you're not a beginner, I wouldn't really waste my time with them. Um, good clippers. I don't really have nothing negative to say about them except that they get a little too close and they pull the skin a little bit. But other than that, it's great. So um, I would recommend it. Don't let it get too hot. And um, have a good time. And just get better. Learn how to get your fades down. And I promise I'll be coming with more advice and I hope you grow too. So y'all stay tuned. Y'all stay with me. Show some love and support. I'm going to show some back. Peace.